Welcome back to the channel friends, it is great to be here and I hope you're doing well. We're gonna be playing some more, another farm roguelike rebirth today. And I've got a new run kind of planned out here. And I think the best profession we can use to uh, sort of make it all work is going to be the merchant. So the merchant on level up gets plus 5 max energy, minus 3% shop price, and plus 1 delivery count. But most importantly starts with $600. So we're going to pop on in and <laughs> do I have something planned for you today? So let's go into the plane here and let's set our skills. Looks like we have a nice and rich plot of land to begin with here. Tremendous. All right, so market crash. Let's throw that first. Not going to be really selling anything on the first day. Crafting requirements minus one. Building requirements minus two. This is a good one for later in the week for sure. So that means if... Say the mine, it takes four units of iron. Now it's only going to take two, right? So it's it's pretty important. It can be super useful. General efficiency. Finishing a building is five EXP. I, I like the idea of building on the second day. Tool cost minus one. So this is when we're in our work rhythm, of course. Clearing out trees and mining and the like. Yeah, let's go with that. Why don't we do that on the second day? Let's do that on the second day, as we'll be clearing some stuff out, and then beginner's luck. So let's focus on building on the third day. Now as far as debuffs go, tools don't gain EXP. EXP boost minus 1, energy minus 30, general efficiency minus 1, I think we can do that. And EXP boost minus 1, sure thing. Alright, let's pop on in, and we have gold, we have coal, we have copper, stone, of course. We actually have a lot of resources, my... My first run of this, we didn't really have... I mean, we started on a pretty barren island, if I'm being honest. Kind of had to start buying coal early on. So let's get... Let's just get these raw resources here. Can always use them as... You know, sort of a, a way to get through the first week, but... The plan I have in place today is to... Try out the animals, right? Let's definitely try out the animals. The first run we did it was crop focus. Let's try out the animals this time around. But first off, let's select our first buff. So Merlin Hats. So reward is max energy plus 5. And it's charged by using energy and gaining experience. Okay. A uh, Bee Riot. I mean, this wouldn't be a terrible one to get early on. But in the demo difficulty, right, just the two weeks, it doesn't seem super impactful. Lucky Tool, 6% chance to gain plus 1 EXP for each energy point spent. Let's go with that. I like that. Otherwise, it would have been Merlin. But let's go with that. Let's mix it up. But yeah, for this run here today, folks, I want to do an animal run. And specifically, I want to mess around with sheep here. We had a few great runs with sheep in another farm roguelike, just the base version. So we're going to try it out here again today. And really, the first thing we got to do is sheep, of course, eat wheat. So we have to get a field of wheat down to feed our sheep. And mainly, I want to take a look at the, the animal mechanic in this particular version of the game. Because in the old version, it was a little clunky, I must say. So let's go ahead and get, let's get these trees felled here. But yeah, in the old version of the game, man, you had to manually feed each animal. It was just an arduous task. Crazy stuff. Alright, so we got this down. Uh, work rhythm... So minus one tool cost. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're not going to get a fully optimized field here, but that's okay. Let's get the grass needed to plant a scarecrow. Plant a scarecrow. Build a scarecrow, I should say. All right, we're good. So let's throw it right here. And let's get it... Well, actually, we don't necessarily have to get it built today unless we're able to get the seeds down. So let's play it by ear for now. Otherwise, we can just kind of get the blueprint out there, right? But yeah, we definitely need some wheat. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to pair this up with some bee houses. Now, I've received a whole bunch of tips in my initial video of this. So if you double right click on a building plan, you can duplicate it. We don't have enough wood for this particular build plan, though. So obviously, we're not getting that option. But that is a nice little quality of life thing for sure. 
I really do like that. So thank you to the commenter who tipped me off on that. I do appreciate it. Then also there's uh, some hotkeys that I wasn't aware of. That a fellow YouTuber named uh, Church the Green. Shout out to Church the Green. He's got a channel. You can check his channel out as well. Um, he's uh, coming out with some AFR runs as well. So check his channel out. But yeah, he was telling me you can hold down control and left and right click. And that will allow you to quickly sell. So that's also very good. I like that mechanic too. So what we're going to do is we're going to end our turn into beginner's luck here. And we're going to just pound down on these buildings that we have in place. And of course, hopefully get level ups. For our sheep friends, we're going to need wheat. So let's buy some seeds. And let's end our turn there. Alright, so let's get these built first and foremost. Take advantage of that experience bonus. Very nice. Okay, award. Picks plus one. Plus $3,000 for leveling up. So we must get an additional perk to pick from. And then when we level up again, we get $3,000. That kind of seems a little broken. Time Ben, the next time you level up, you will choose a perk three times. Okay, so that's reminiscent of another one in the base version. And then Roots. I mean, I kind of like Award. I mean, that seems decent. Yeah, let's go with Award. That can allow us potentially to make our sheep build insanely strong, given we'll have the disposable income to just go nuclear with sheep. So let, let's do it and let's get a few more of these hives down just don't quite have enough wood do we we have 18 wood we only need 15 oh that's because I canceled the build plan that's all right all right let's get it built you bet and let's chop down a few more trees do we have enough not quite so we're gonna have to commit to a full tree here My thought is you might as well take advantage of the experience boost where possible. So let's eat a few oranges, see if we can get just the trace amount of energy needed to get this built. And nice, we secure more experience. Tremendous. All right, let's sell. So yeah, I'm holding down control. And if you left click, you can sell one. If you right click, you sell the lot. So worms selling good. Beetles, not so much. All right, so we'll get the wheat seed in the earth tomorrow. Get it on this hive, it will speed up the production process. I also want to get some sprinklers in place as well, so let's go ahead and get the sprinklers. Yeah, it's only 10 stone. Boom. Looking good. Alright, let's go ahead and just sink our axe into remaining trees and end our turn there. All right, we're going to have to start making some cash money here. And we can certainly do that with furnaces. I mean, we have plenty of furnaces. Well, we have plenty of smeltable goods in the furnace, including coal, which is often rare to find. We also have some gold ore, which is real nice. So let's go ahead and let's get a furnace. Probably throw that right here. Build that. Build the sprinkler. Excellent. Let's get the seeds planted. Check the shop. More wheat seeds, you bet. Definitely need some more wheat seeds. Okay, how about a bit of a reroll of the shop? Or do we go in and get zoology right now? So this will unlock animals in the shop. So let's do it. Let's buy it now. And let's reroll this. 12 wheat seeds, very nice. No sheep in sight, though. Can add a few more shop slots. Yeah, let's do it. And let's roll this one more time. All right, so here's a sheep for 126. That is uh, steep. And it lives five days. Okay, so there's uh, a life associated with your animals in this one as well. Let's see if we can get a few more of these sheep here. You can't build an empire with just a single sheep, right? So let's start off with three. Let's get the wheat planted. Let's get it watered. 
effect. How are we looking for tool upgrades here? So we need some copper. Yeah, we'll get some copper smelting. In fact, let's do that right now. Get a few tool upgrades. And then let's start growing this wheat. It's not going to do us much good to have sheep without means of feeding them. Right? Alright, perfect. Now let's fell some more trees and... Let's get a fence in place. Alright, uh, building. We need... Small fence. 15 animals or medium fence. 12 planks. But 30 animals. Yeah, let's go with the small fence. Don't need to go overkill on this. And let's get it built. So we could play our sheep, but again... Okay, so this must be the, the feeding system here. Excellent. I think if this works the way I'm thinking it does, I like it quite a bit. Because like I said, in the previous version, you had to manually feed all your animals. Just insanely arduous... Especially if you went all in on animals, like... Definitely did that in a run, and boy, was that a long one. Alright, let's go ahead and just sell... Sell, sell. Might as well pound down a few oranges, you bet. Get that vitamin C flowing. And let's end our turn there. We are close to a, a level up, and... Once we get there, of course, we will recognize that, what is it, three grand, I believe? Alright, so copper bar, let's take this and upgrade a tool. What is the most important tool that we'll need? So we have the mountain next door, that means mining. So we could go with the pickaxe. The watering can, I mean, you could make the case for that as well. The watering can takes a single bar, so let's go ahead and get the watering can up, because... Well, actually, we don't need the watering can, I forgot we have the sprinklers in place. Well, cancel that. Why don't we get another copper bar and get two of these gold bar smelting? That'll be for sale, and then tomorrow we'll be able to get our first wheat harvest to get our sheep in place. So I'm going to chop down trees to level up, and here we go. We do secure the bag. And let's see, upon collecting a product from the furnace, 20% of its maximum value is granted. Okay, that's cool. Time bend. Next time you level up. Max energy plus 50. Harvesting crops charges counters by 4%. I don't know that we're going all in on the furnace in this one. Why don't we go ahead and do... Let's do max energy. I like that one. That's a good one to get. And with said energy we can chop down these trees here and then we'll expand soon just got to get our sheep on the field in fact i want to take a look to see if any more are available for purchase all right so let's sell this let's sell the bee copper bar sell the honey all right we have 3200 we're definitely going to want to get some of these looms here, which means the sawmill will become a necessity. Before we get that, of course, we have to expand to the mountain and hope for some stone. Should probably also consider getting a mine, but we don't have any iron as usual. Iron, I find, is just... it's hard to find, right? It's, it's sparse. You rarely start off with it, and... Yeah, it's been a challenge, for sure. Iron is super important. But that's alright. Let's go ahead and... Let's take a look at getting more sheep instead. So let's go to the shop. What do we have? Yeah, eight sheep. This is a good stack. So let's buy enough to still pay the bills. Let's see. So we'll be getting wheat. Yeah, we have eight sheep. I think that's a fine quantity to kind of start an empire with. So let's go ahead and end our turn there. All right. So we have our first wheat harvest. Which is real nice. Get our honeycomb as well, of course. And let's see, how does this work exactly? So we select our wheat, right? Okay, so yeah, you can just literally drop it into the fence. 
which means the animals will automatically feed themselves. I love that mechanic. That is amazing. So let's play all of our sheep, and there they are in all of their glory. Look at these guys here. Tremendous. All right, let's build a sawmill. Uh, we need stone for that. Okay, we'll get a sawmill. We've got to expand, but first we have to pay some bills. Really, before we can expand properly. I can certainly sell some of this wheat, I believe. We'll be good on the taxes for a while. Why don't I just sell it all? I think that's fine. Be able to feed our, our sheep. And grow another crop of wheat, of course. And still keep them fed. Can use that cash for expansion, I'm thinking. So let's sell this, sell this, and this. Let's grab the worm, sell the worm. Worm always seems to sell pretty good, I must admit. Let's upgrade a tool, let's upgrade our pickaxe, absolutely. And let's go back into the old bag here. Alright, so let's get the seeds in the earth. The seeds that we don't have, but we're going to purchase. Wheat seeds, absolutely. Let's get them planted. And watered up. All right, we're looking good there. For smelting, we can always smelt. Well, let's smelt this last piece of gold we have here and a few pieces of copper. Let's pound down some energy. And let's see, 750. Yeah, we can expand. And look at all of this stone. My goodness, this must be diamond. Is that accurate? Let's check it out. This is the first I've seen of the diamond, but yeah, diamond ore. How about that? Tremendous. But we are more interested in the stone here. So let's go ahead and grab the stone. Do we have enough for the sawmill? We sure do. Should we get several of them? I think it's appropriate given we need a lot of looms. So let's do that. Let's get some logs in the sawmill. Get that rolling. And here in week two... We're going to take some massive strides. So let's go. Let's see. I would assume our sheep produce one wool a piece, but we'll certainly find out. So let's go ahead and end our turn there. That mountain territory, though. My goodness. Is that rich? All right. So we're getting some planks, which is good. Honeycomb, you like it. Looks like we have some fertilizer here as well. So let's just sell this stuff. The wool. So we have 24 units of wool. So it looks like each sheep is producing three per turn. It's pretty good at return. Gold bar. I think we can probably sell it. Yeah, it's selling for pretty good. Let's sell high, right? Selling high. That's the point of it. All right, we have fertilizer. What does this do? Accelerates crop growth by one day. Okay, so let's use it on... Oh, nice. It just makes it ready to harvest immediately. Okay, so it kind of seems like animals are pretty darn strong then. If they give you fertilizer. That's pretty amazing, actually. I love that. Yeah, I really like what they're doing with this game. If you play the original... You probably enjoyed the original. It is absolutely a great game, but... You know, there are certain areas where the game could improve, and I think they've implemented a lot of those improvements right here with this one. So for whatever reason, it doesn't like me building these so close together, but we're going to need a ton of these looms if we're getting wool every single turn, so... That is a good, good thing there. And let's go ahead and get them built. And let's process the wool. 
All right, perfect. So now we have an open inventory slot. So let's sell the worm. Let's take a look at some of this other stuff. So crafting, fishing net. So string. Used mainly in crafting. Okay, so that looks like it requires four wool. But what is it used for? So we can get crafting requirements minus one, but that's this stuff here, right? So if we purchase this, it means it would take three string instead. And this actually scales up. You can hit this again and again. It's probably more functional when you get the apprentice and cook unlocked, which is upcoming. So it doesn't really apply to a sheep build right now, at least. Which is okay. So let's go ahead and I'd love to get a mine. Is there any iron over here? I'm just not seeing it. So we're literally going to have to purchase iron in the shop, which we'll get there. But that's all right. For the meantime, let's make sure our fields are kind of taken care of here. So we need more wheat. Let's definitely get some more sheep. Let's make sure we don't go broke in doing so. All right. Almost a full fence of sheep. And let's plant the seeds. Sow in the seeds of the future here, folks. Alright, looking good. We'll have another wheat harvest coming real soon. Got the loom doing its thing. Yeah, it's interesting that you can't bunch them up. You'd think you'd be able to, but maybe it's a, a two-tile building. That could very well be. All right, so let's mine some precious ore. I think that is probably a good thing to do. Let's get some gold. Get some diamonds processing. Let's build a few more of these furnaces here. Probably add coal to the shop early on next week. I think that makes sense. Get the diamonds processing. Absolutely. feel like we need some more backpack space as well. So let's price that out. Backpack. Yeah, plus four for 25. Yeah, we'll certainly take that. So this is real cheap to upgrade, actually. XP blues boost plus one. Okay. Gifted. Max EXP minus 10%. Got it. Okay, that's a pretty cool mechanic. I think the hammer is a sensible item to get upgraded as well. So why don't we get that? And then the axe. Don't really need that too much. The hoe is useful, obviously. Given our continued use of it. Alright, I think we're looking good for the most part. Let's get some more stones. Let's secure this gold that we have sitting over here. What is this? Is this sapphire? Yeah, it is. Rough ruby, rough sapphire. Maybe we can set up a grindstone. Speaking of which, let's get a few more logs in our good old sawmill there. And then I want to focus fire these trees as well. So we'll get some more wood next turn. I think that seems about good. So let's end our turn there and into week two. Where I'm going to try to really maximize sheep. So, Mystical Fertilizer. Each crop yields its own product. So, I believe what that does is whatever crop you have planted, you will get a harvest of it. So, I love that for our wheat production, obviously. Land price, minus 20%. That would have been nice. Steam sale. Shop price is minus 10%. Destruction of breakables restores energy equal to their durability. That's interesting. That's actually really good for... Because we're... We're going to go on a frenzy, right? Stock market. Items have their top value. That sounds like a great one for the final day. And we can just stock up our precious resources. Yeah. Tremendous. All right. Building time plus one. Hives don't work. Harvest equals one. Minus $50 for each item crafted. Yikes. But are we crafting anything? I don't think so. Hives don't work. 
Let's see. So we have a wheat harvest today. Tomorrow it'll be growing harvest. Growing harvest. So let's do that in the middle there. Building time plus one. Sure. So let's do that. Get some planks. And here's some cloth. So how does this sell? 150 high end. Very nice. So we're going to be uh, really stocking up the cloth here. I'm curious to see how much cash money we can make. And these looms have nice capacity at 6 as well. And that's obviously good for us. So let's get some more wheat. Get it in the bottomless bag here. Well, not bottomless. And the first thing I want to do is let's get some trees. So we're getting that energy back. Well, we're getting a percentage of that, that energy back. So I like that mechanic. Might be able to get most of these trees down, to be honest. Maybe not quite most, but we definitely got some down. So let's replant the fields. In fact, I probably should have looked at tool upgrades beforehand, but let's check it out. A backpack here. Yeah, copper hoe. I definitely want that. Might as well get the axe too. All right, we got a nice copper kit going on here, at least for the most part. All right, backpack. Let's look to sell. What can we sell? Not too much at this particular point. I suppose we could sell these rubies. Yeah, the rough sapphire is selling good. So let's sell it. Let's pick up the bug here. The bee. The beetle. Very nice. Let's go ahead and get our backpack upgraded again. And how about again? I just like having the space to work with. Let's get the fertilizer down as well. It's going to go a long way for us. Continue to keep the fields all tilled up. Let's seek some wheat. That is some wheat. How about some more wheat? What do you say, game? All right, very nice. So that'll keep us afloat here. Let's water it up. Do we have enough energy left? Sure do. All right, very nice. Sell the tree seeds. Just don't need it. Rough Ruby will hold on to that. Diamond bar. Sell them for 551. Maybe we start getting diamond tier the next level up. I guess we'll have to see. So I'll hold on to the diamonds for now. We have 15 planks question is, do we need more looms? It doesn't really feel like it, but I'll add like... I'll add two more. How about that? Not going to be able to really get them built anyways. Maybe we can supplement with the orange. A little orange juice. Yeah, we can get one down. Some of the uh, controls get a little sticky. <laughs> Alright. Alright, here we go. Now we're good. <laughs> Alright, now. I guess let's just bang on this tree for a little bit. Let's see, what are we uh, crafting planks for exactly? We don't necessarily need the big mine. Seed maker might be useful. That takes iron. Just need the cash. Could get another small fence or a medium fence with 12 planks. Alright, so that's what we'll do. So more planks. More planks it is. 
and we don't have any coal. All right. So I was going to uh, I was going to turn some wood into coal. So I think what we can do is we can go ahead and See what is that upgrade in the shop? 500 So let's just sell that stack of cloth. Let's add the coal. And let's go ahead and roll this. All right, here's a stack of coal. Absolutely. Got to roll for that coal. Got some more wheat as well. All right, so that turned out very nice. Let's spend the rest on, on sheep. And let's go ahead and get gold. Copper. And then wood the rest of the way just to stay high on our coal reserves. All right, looking good there. Out of energy, Be building this next turn. Let's see what the yield is like from our sheep friends here. Let's get some more weeds in this beast. And let's end it there. All right, so there is our free harvest. 29 more units of wheat. So that's nice. Let's get the wheat seeds planted the rest of the way. Grabbing some planks. Grabbing some cloth. So 90 units of cloth. Okay. It's going to be real nice at the end of the week here. When we sell that to victory. Hopefully. Alright, let's build one of these medium fences here. Big fence. 70 animals can be placed in it. Wow. Let's get the medium fence. And look at this thing. It is spacious. Lots of room to stretch the legs for our sheep friends here. Keep these looms pumping. Let's go. Yeah, I really like the animal mechanic in, in this one. I think they... They looked at it... They looked at the way it was in the old version of the game, right? And they just made it better. It's more functional this way. It's less micromanagey in this way. You don't have to spend your time... You know, clicking on each animal. Imagine having like 300 sheep. And having to manually feed them something random each turn. Well, not random. It's one of, you know, three vegetables that, that they're seeking, right? It's so much better this way. So, props to whomever is developing this game. Excellent. Love what you did with the animals. Let's get our wheat down here. And let's see. Do we have anything else in the shop of interest to us? We do, but we're going to have to sell something. So, <laughs> as typical, let's sell the bees, the beetles, and the worms. Buy the wheat seeds. Indeed. Should probably look into getting a seed maker, but we'll have to add iron to the shop. Not necessarily sold on that, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, how are we looking for tools? Almost there on the watering can. Okay. How's the gold bar selling? Very good, so let's sell it. That'll give us a little bit of uh, income to play around with. All right, so what are we doing? Well, I think we're going to buy some more sheep for sure. Let's see, there's no sheep available. Buy some more wheat seeds. Here we go. Let's get you in place there, sheep. All right. So we got a lot of sheep on the farm here. Absolutely. Exactly what I envisioned. What else could we maybe sell to get a few more? It's not the right time to sell the cloth. 
rough ruby, we can sell that. Honey, not selling great. This copper, though. What if we took some time to mine some of this out? What are we doing on wood? Doing okay on wood. I actually want to prioritize lumber for coal purposes. In fact, I think we can do kind of a combo of both. Yeah, so, I mean, that's a lot of copper there, right? So let's get around to coal. And then let's, of course, get this mined up. And then we can smelt some copper as a little side hustle for sure. In fact, what does this building look like? The grindstone. Let's get one. Why not? All right, we'll get that next turn. That's an appropriate place to end the, end the turn there, though. Tomorrow we have craft tax, so don't craft stuff. All right, 81 units of wool there. That's very nice. That's going to go well in our looms. Just getting a ton of cloth here, folks. And boy, am I excited to get to the end of the week. And see how much we can make. So let's see. Let's get this rough emerald processing. Why not? Grabbing some coal. Let's get these filled up. Let's replen the sheep. Let's have 100 units in there at all times. 150 in the medium. Looking good. Let's tend to the fields. Also looking good. And let's get the wheat seed. Shop. Wheat seeds. Grab some coal too. Alright, so let's get it watered up. Level up for the watering can. Okay, so we can get a diamond tier watering can. 7x7 seven seven range. And takes one energy. Let's do it. Absolutely. Man, this game's got a lot of promise. Imagine being able to expand further, right? I like it. I like that it's randomized, so you have to kind of determine when you want to expand. And sort of the cost associated with that. I would, I would assume the cost scales up to expand the second time, third time, right? And it's just like, as far as the different biome goes, right? Like, what are you going to get? Are you, You're likely to get ore in the mountain ranges, right? And stone. The jungle, you're likely to get wood, right? So it's kind of like, what do you need at the time? And that dictates where you might expand to. Diamond pickaxe. Five diamond bars. I mean, we got a lot of work to do over here, so let's do it. But yeah, that's a really cool element. I, I think it really makes a lot of sense. It's a really cool thing that they did with this game. I know I've been praising it, but it absolutely deserves praise. I think they've... They took their concept with AFR, just the first one, and they just simply made it better. Huge fan of this game already. Alright, fertilizer, yes. Might as well get an immediate harvest, right? Should probably fertilize first. So you don't double up efforts. Wheat seeds, you bet. Alright, let's see. Honey, still not selling good. That's not good. Rough emerald. We're kind of grinding those down, so... 
Let's hold on to it. Rough Ruby selling pretty good. Be the necessary cash maybe to grab some more sheep. Although it's not too much. Could sell some cloth. And sell a few units of cloth. To get 10 more sheep, I think it's worth it. Sheep is just going to pay for itself. Alright, excellent. Let's roll the shop. Do we have more sheep? We certainly do. Alright, let's get more sheep. Let's also grab the wheat as well. Alright, let's fill these up the rest of the way. Okay, so we have four sheep remaining. So let's make some more space for another fence here. All right, building big fence, medium fence. Don't have enough experience for the big fence. I also like that, you know, some of these buildings are behind a level wall. I think that makes a lot of sense too. Yeah, a lot to like about this game here, folks. A lot to like. Of course, we have to wait until Q1 2025 to get the full release. At least that's where it's currently slated, but yeah, this, this game's awesome. Alright, let's get our wheat allocated properly. Might as well. Alright, sweet. Looking good. Excellent stuff. Boom. Diamond. Diamond watering can. You kind of assess, like, which tool is the least impactful, right? I mean, obviously you can't farm without the watering can, right? But as far as upgrading, which one's the least impactful? I think you could probably argue the watering can, but it just build us out there. That's for sure. Sand, wool. I got a bunch of wool as well. Let's see, what's this? Building time minus one. Building requirements minus one. Okay. I think we're good to go ahead and end our turn there. Let's see, do we have planks? Yeah, we have 25 planks, so we could add yet another fence if we need to. So yeah, let's go ahead and end our turn there. Tomorrow we have hives don't work. It's going to be all right. In fact, we have some fertilizer remaining. Might as well use it. All right, so it looks like the animal die-off event is occurring here. Another interesting element to this game is, you know, your animals unfortunately do reach the end. And it looks like they give you meat. Okay. So why don't we... Let's get that right in the furnace. Get a little side hustle of mutton chops. Collect the cloth, you bet. And let's fertilize, fertilize. So you can double fertilize, actually. Interesting. So you want to be a little careful with that, but obviously getting the, the crop that you planted is a good idea. But that's cool that you can double fertilize. I don't know if that mechanic is intentional, but it certainly is available to abuse in... The demo version here. Alright, so how are we going to make some cash? We can sell these emeralds here. That's a good sale. But the worms, beetles. Looks like we have hide here as well. So using clothing, but it does go into the loom to create cloth. Okay. Okay, so we can use that the same as we would the wool. Except for it sells much worse as a raw product, so we'll probably prioritize the hide first. And we obviously get that from when our animals unfortunately perish. Okay, very good. We will certainly take that. I think we need some more looms for sure. It's gonna be a while until we get additional. What, what do I need? Planks? 
Nah, it couldn't be. I need wood. Alright, let's get the wood. It's gonna be a while for me to fill up this fence here to warrant using my planks on another fence, right? So let's do this. Let's get this built. Let's add another. And another. Very nice. And let's get the wool in there. In fact, my goodness. I think you could argue... Get about 10 more looms, to be honest. So let's get the wood. Leveled up the axe. Now, we can't expand further... Yeah, we can't expand further. I mean, you could plant tree seeds, but we're about halfway through week two here, so not really worth it. So let's go ahead and just continue to pound in this wheat here, and let's maximize sheep, right, just as much as possible. All right, yeah, so let's just pound it in. Get it watered up. In the shop let's see more sheep yeah we could get more sheep I think our fences are pretty well stocked with wheat for them to eat yeah looking good got the animal die off coming a big one coming next turn it's a sad day here folks let's get these grinding up do we need more planks? Let's get a few more. You bet. A uh, tree seed. Sell it. How's the honey doing? Let's sell it after all. And let's go ahead and continue mining here. Are there any wheat seeds? Nope. There are now, though. Swift little re-roll. So let's get them planted. And let's see. What do we have going on in the furnace? We could process just more copper. I think we're looking good there. And ideally... I mean, we could sell some cloth and get some sheep. Sell some wool and get some sheep, too. Now, why don't I make a few sales here? Try to get another stack of sheep. The wool is going to be the thing that we just have a ton of. Right? So, can we get this stack and this stack? Almost. Alright, looking good. Now let's let's lace them in here, folks. We got the environments. We got the wheat to support them as well. All right, let's end the turn there. All right, two hundred sixteen units of wool, not to mention seventy-two units of fertilizer, to keep your fields just nice and producing for you. How about cloth? 198 units of cloth. Tremendous. So we can literally just like immediately plant and harvest. In fact, I want to try this out. So let's get some wheat. So we have the wheat, right? Let's till the field. We've got a hoe level up here. Nothing we can really do with it. So let's plant a single seed here. And let me see if this works the way I think it does. 
Yeah, look at that. <laughs> that is hilarious to me. Fertilizer is OP, my friends. I mean, imagine using this on a more lucrative crop like pumpkins or something. Right after you had like a full-blown glass smelting operation going on. And, and you're, you're jarring your, your pumpkins, right? Definite uh, pretty crazy opportunities with that. The income potential is mighty. Emerald selling high end. Very nice. So let's get it back rolling. We're actually going to reach that point where we don't necessarily really need to replen wheat anymore. But it's cool that it, that it works the way it does. So instead of spending cash on seeds and the like, let's grab some more sheep. How about nine more? Sounds good to me. All right, we are at max capacity here. So what's stopping us from getting another medium fence? Well, just have to get a space for it, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that, and let's pump in yet another medium fence. Let's get the hide going in the looms here first. Perfect. And the wool. As far as looms go. Let's get a few more. Get them built. Get them filled up. Sell a worm. Okay, so this is raw meat. Here's the baked meat. It sells for pretty good, actually. Alright, so raw meat. Yes. Let's get it in. Whoops. Looks like I ended up eating it. That's alright. The difference between the left and right mouse click, right? All right, so let's spend the rest of our time mining here. Wonder if I can just sell my stack of uh, stone and convert it into sheep. We'll see. I want to do some. I want to get some more sheep in here if I can. Sell them for eleven bucks. Yeah. I mean, otherwise, what are we looking at? The loom doesn't take it, so. Let's sell it. Four grand. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get some more sheep. Yes. All right. So we need 30 more sheep. So let's roll again. Here's 25. There's 30. Welcome to the world, sheep. Let's go. Now, ideally, you just get a bunch of uh, looms at this point. And just pump it up for the next few days. Well, we're going to be selling it all tomorrow. When it's that top dollar. So let's get a few more planks going. I think it's safe to end the turn there. So let's go ahead. All right, so it is raining wool, raining fertilizer, which is kind of scary. <laughs> Just getting a gargantuan amount of cloth here.
Yeah, I got to get better at right clicking and left clicking. Amazingly enough. All right, so let's sell the B. Everything is selling for top dollar here today, folks. So great opportunity to literally sell everything. So what do we need? If I could get a few more of these looms. Yeah, I'm only going to have the resources for one additional loom, which is all right. Let's go ahead and get it built. Boom. Let's get it populated. All right, looking good. Grindstone. Gonna roll the dice on a better sell price tomorrow for the more advanced products. The furnace. I suppose we can throw some copper in there. Sure thing. Should we fish for the first time? Might as well. It's gonna sell top dollar. Let's mine this out. It's selling top dollar. All right, so let's make some transactions here, friends. All right, fertilizer. Yep, don't need it anymore. Rainbow trout, 100 bucks. Copper ore. Yep, sell it, 2,200. Copper bar, 31. Berry, sia. In fact, been in my inventory for a long time. Wood, sell it. Coal, sell it. Wheat, sell it. Grass, sell it. Orange, sand. Didn't use sand at all. Planks. Yep. Grayling. Apple. Stone. Rough ruby. Honey. Baked meat. Wool. So that's 22,000. And then the cloth that we've been hoarding all game. 105,000. <laughs> Imagine what a few more weeks of this looks like. All right, so that is, I mean, we could go crazy. Should we just fish? Yeah, let's fish. Might as well. Hey, another level up. What do you know? Merlin hat, global warming, roots, and good DNA. All revealed water tiles disappear. Max energy plus two for each tile. Yep, I like it. Although we do lose our little fishing pond. Not a problem. When all else fails, just sell the bugs. All right, looking good. Let's end our turn there. We have one final harvest here, friends. So let's collect it all. Although this is only week two, you know, you got to wonder what the what the rent scales up to for week three. I mean, it goes from, what, 2,500 to 45,000? This game might be more, you know, might, it might even scale higher, right? It might be like 200,000. I mean, who knows? Wool. Selling these. Hide. Raw meats. Let's sell it all and see what our final sum is. Another 23K there from the loom. Very, very nice. So let's go ahead and end our week there. Don't really need to do anything with the energy bar. It's just not worth it. And I think we found ourselves a winner here, friends. Yeah, so the sheep are pretty darn strong, I must admit. I do like these perks. I think they're very impactful. Um, I like the stats, too. I like how it breaks it down. It's nice. Uh, sheep are really strong. I would like to try build with, you know, the, the chickens and the cows as well. See what we can unlock. Pigs as well, right? That's an option. Thought I saw like a snake in there as well, which is interesting. I mean, really, I'm just interested in this game. Like, it's got super huge potential. And frankly, really enjoy playing it. So if you're enjoying the content here on the channel, friends, consider becoming a subscriber. Got plenty more of AFR Rebirth. Going to be coming your way from right here on this channel. If you like this game, subscribe, follow along, stay tuned, stay updated. And thanks for your support. I really do appreciate it.
So with that said, I'm going to be ending the video here. Thank you once again, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot.